Good morning, everybody. And I'm in pop. And it's actually my portal of prayer from last year that just all the matters really showed up from when I picked some stuff up from storage. And I never opened this particular one because it must have been an extra one that I was going to pass out and never got a lot around to it. So I'm going to read um, yesterday's devotion for the 21st. And then I'll go to the 22nd. So I'll have two out of this one as well, just like the last one. So the first homework assignment, oh, we're going to read Proverbs and Psalms. So oh, that's going to be fun. Proverbs 30, verses 21. Let's start with Psalms first. Why not? 104. Verses 13 through, since I already had it up there, 25. Okay, so the first one is Psalm 104, verses 13 through 25. Oh, that's the wrong one. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face shine, and bread which strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests, as for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth he, his, his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after, they pray, after their prey, and they seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth into his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are they works, and wisdom thou hast made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea, wherein are these things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now the next one is Proverbs. I'm reading them the opposite since I already mm -hmm. had Psalms up there. Kill two birds with one stone. Gene Rogers always said to kill two stones with one bird. Three, verse 13 through 35. So Proverbs 3, verses 13 through 35. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things that canst desire, and not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Thou shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou least liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sheep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in the power of thine hand. 
to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give. When thou hast it be by thee, devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he hath done thee no harm. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the froward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you have been foolish, exalting yourself, or if you have been devising evil, put your hand on your mouth. Proverbs 30, verse 32. Well, that's one way of altering the verse, but it works. <laughs> it's effective. Exalting whom? Coffee, bread, car, work, store, home, repeat. What percentage of our day is invested in doing something nice for other people who are not related to us and for which we will not receive something in exchange? Have we been foolish, exalting ourselves instead of doing God's work? Are our selfish actions saying to the world that our God doesn't exist? Our sinful hearts crave to exalt what is convenient for us and no one else. Instead of exalting ourselves, we should put our hands on our mouths. Jesus died to rescue us from our sins by a sinless life and perfect death. Sinless. Not sinful, sinless life and perfect death. Well, I don't, I don't know how you could call crucifixion perfect, but he rose again and conquered death, empowering us to face this world with confidence and wisdom. Gifted by the word, we can do deeds that exalt him and tell the world that there is a God. Lord, we have been foolish, saying with our actions, there is no God. Forgive us in Jesus so that we can exalt you only. Thank you for turning our lives around. You gave us Jesus and with him the joy of your salvation and the courage to do your work. In your name, in the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, next one for the 22nd. Oh, so we're gonna do Proverbs 31, 10 through 31. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far from above rubies. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willing with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field, and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengthen her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good, her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold it a staff. She stretches out her hand to the poor, yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy, always. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Amen. She maketh herself covering of tapestry of clothing of silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up, and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. 
many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That was fantastic. And Psalm 15. I read that one a long time ago. I don't, I don't remember what that one's. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge all aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despiseth his father's instruction, but he that regardeth reproof is prudent. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doeth not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord, how much more than the hearts of the children of men. A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of merry heart hath a continual feast. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. A wrathful man stirreth up strife but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. The way of a slothful man, the way of a slothful man, is as an hedge of thorns. But the way of the righteous is made plain. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly's, folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors they are established. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season, how good is it? The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer. That's why I said you can't buy my love. Doesn't matter how much money you have. My love's not for sale, never was. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despises his own soul, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates. Psalm 31, verse 31. And today's title from a year ago, Love Blind. 
I'd say love is blind. Have you ever had someone compliment you on a fragrance you're wearing and then you realize you don't even smell it yourself? We put fragrance on in the morning and our noses become blind to the smell after a few minutes. Mine doesn't, I always, it's like, mm, I, I, every once in a while I can get a whiff of myself and it's like when I put my perfume on. We can't smell it anymore, but other people can. Too often in our lives we become blind to the love and attention from our loved ones at home and around us. And, and anytime anybody says, oh, is that you that smells like that? And I'm like, well, I did, perf I think I put perfume on it. Yeah, I can smell it. It's kind of, it blends in and almost like seeps out of my pores. I swear it does. Well, we become so used to these dear ones doing what they do for us that we start taking it and them for granted. We become blind to love or love blind. Jesus was publicly honored by the Father for his work on earth. His sacrifice on the cross restored all human relationships so that motivated by God's love, we can give honor and appreciation to those who severe, to serve and love us. In our baptism, God welcomed us into the family of faith. Because of his love, we can thank and honor our loved ones, not only at home and church, but also in public, acknowledging how much they do for us and how much they love us. Lord, thank you for the fragrance of the love and care from our loved ones. Thank you for giving us a family in our baptism and for strengthening all of our relationships because of your sacrifice on the cross. Help us to always honor those around us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed those devotions. There's no doubt I'm gonna read from Psalms. I gotta get my homework assignment out of here because I wanna do that do that for a month and see where we're at in a month. So, stay tuned. I have more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye. Keep the faith.